Welcome guys to another episode of Civil Tech Search. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create an existing surface in live design. We will start with our topographical survey. Make sure your topographical survey consultant or whoever does the service for you gives you a topographical survey and 3D information because it makes your life way easier, especially if they can give you triangles because basically they already built the model for you and they didn't just give you 3D points and lines of staircases and it makes your model messy. If you need a topographical survey that provides 3d triangles let me know i'll point you to a few contacts i have to start with we have our topographical survey and we will do two exercises one where the topographical survey is in our drawing and the other one where it's extra thin we'll leave the extra thin at the end because there's a little bonus now the topographical survey consists from triangles which are 3D faces, points, and polylines, 3D polylines or polylines with elevation. How do we create a surface? Well, in the object browser, if you cannot see your object browser, go to live design and click on object browser. And in the ground model link under surfaces, right click and hit add. You can see surface one was created. And if I click on it, you can see in the properties. If you can't see properties, just go to home and make sure the properties window is enabled. Now, if I click on surface one, you can see that the name is surface one i'm gonna change this to existing some people like naming it eg or egl i like naming it as it is it's existing no acronyms now we have a few other options boundary trim we're not gonna look at this now depth band source that is like if we were doing like depth bands, but we're not doing this, we're just creating an existing. Now, the one that you should focus a tiny bit on is creating your styles and the naming of them. So what are styles? Styles basically is the appearance. So like how often the contours appear, do you wanna see the triangles of your surface? You don't wanna see them. You wanna see the boundary, you don't wanna see them. So many options. Now to access the styles, you just have to right click on the surfaces and select styles. And then you can see I have few. I've got none boundary, so I can see just the boundary. Input, so I can see all the input contours for, uh, for existing contours for proposed contours to edit the existing the drainage like a surface only for drainage and cut and fill now if you want to create one you just hit the plus icon if you want to copy to edit just hit that i'll make a different tutorial about styles because all the styles in live design pretty much work the same but i will try to upload the styles that i have in uh, my website so you can download them so you can have something to start with so at the moment we're not going to touch anything so we're just going to hit no so now what we're going to do is because we have points and triangles we need to select which, which one we're gonna use now my advice and my experience is to always use the triangles because topographical survey guys went to the trouble and created the surface for you so i'm gonna freeze everything and keep my 3d triangles on now it says here create surface from drawing i believe they meant to say create a surface from a surface or like a face so that's how it's used because if i use this command to create a surface from the drawing and select points it will not work just to give you an example i'm just gonna freeze the triangles and right create surface from drawing select everything hit enter you can see nothing happened but if i unfreeze everything put my triangles and right click on the existing create surface from drawing select everything because there's 3d faces hit enter you can see my boundary has appeared now i'm gonna select my existing by clicking on the object browser and i'm just gonna change it to contours existing and i'm just gonna freeze my triangles just so you can see so that is my surface now if i go look at it in 3d so i go live design in views 3d view now you can see this is our 3d surface now a little point to make is that the finished surface that you cannot delete or do anything it's standard comes with live design what it does is it builds your finished surface from your existing so if i design a road now the road will be designed on the finished surface and tying to the existing which has been copy pasted to the finish that's a simple way to explain it and that is how it will work but what i will do is i like turning off the finished surface and make sure that my existing style so if i go to my styles and you can see my contours existing has the triangles on if I untick the 3D triangles and hit apply, you can see that I can see the contours only. That's because in the styles, so if I select my existing and go to the edit styles, you can see that the 3D major contours should be visible. Now, if I want to change it and I click on the green and make it the darker green, for example, and tick it to be visible and hit OK, you can see now I can see my surface. So this is a little point that you need to be aware of. That is how we create from triangles. And now let's look at how to create it from the point. Points. So I'm just going to bring all the layers back up and I'm just going to delete my existing. So right click delete and then create a new surface, right click add and just name it existing. And now I'm going to right click on the existing and add drawing entities. 
and then I'm going to select everything and hit enter. Now you can see my boundary was created. Now, if I go to 3D view, I cannot see anything. So if I go to existing, so it's boundary. So that's why we cannot see anything in 3D. Now, if I change it to contours existing, I still cannot see anything. But if I click the three dots and enable the green again, hit OK, you can see that we have a few spikes. You can see those spikes. Now, those spikes are done purposefully. So I can show you something on how to it fix this so these spikes are basically telephone poles now how do we get rid of them so we need to delete these vertex now if i hide the layer nothing will happen so one way to work around it is hide the layer delete the surface redo it again but there is no need for that because you can actually edit your surface so if i select my surface and in the styles i'm just gonna change and make sure that the vertices in 2d are on or you can do what i did is have a predefined style contours edit existing so you can see that i can see my vertices when i select my point i can see the blue dots these are the vertex and i can edit them you just hover over it and you can select edit elevation or delete vertex in my case i want to delete them and you can see the surface automatically updates i'm just gonna fix this one as well delete vertex and then select this one delete vertex and now if i go to 3d view you can see i cannot see anything because the surface doesn't have 3d triangles enabled so i'm just gonna enable them and white is not a great color to make your surface on so i would advise to change it to a dark green for your existing that's my advice dark green so now let's look at the extra topo so basically the topo being extra in your drawing now i'm not gonna bore you with everything let's not cut to the chase as far as i am aware you can create an existing surface from three from an attached topo using only 3d faces that's all i've tested and i haven't seen anything else works with me so far so if i unfreeze everything and go to the surface one which i'm just gonna rename again to existing just to we can be consistent and then we're gonna right click and then create surface from drawing and select everything and hit enter you can see our boundary was created if i undo and right click add drawing entities nothing will happen and if i unfreeze everything and freeze the triangles and right click add from surface entities select everything nothing will happen and create surface from drawing nothing will happen now if you have tested something else like i don't know lines not three polylines not polylines but lines and it works let us know in the comments below as i said we just go make sure we enable our triangles freeze everything else right click create surface from drawing select everything hit enter now the good part about this is now if i go to home in the attachments and i unload my drawing my surface is still there so i don't have to worry about seeing so i don't have to worry about like seeing the layers of the top because sometimes we just want the contours so yeah that is the benefit of it in my opinion and you can see that is my surface so i hope you found this tutorial useful if you liked it hit the like button if you loved it hit the subscribe button and share it with your colleagues so they will stop bugging you into creating a surface and they can learn by themselves and i'll see you in the next tutorial